drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Moves it to Michael. The score! zone. What a steal in his own end. St. Louis takes it across the line. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Now a quick pass to Michael. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And that's intercepted by Hart. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. St. Louis has it in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Off the left wing and into center. And that pass attempt is deflected. The Blues move to the offensive zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Champions loving the puck. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Boom! What a hit! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And loses possession after a solid hit. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Looking to set up offensively. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Haynes close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Slides it diagonally to Goss to spare. Handles the pass from the right wing. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Hart. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. St. Louis is struggling to capitalize on their chances. That one goes off the post and out, but they are generating James so if they can keep with the game plan, continue to press, that one's bound to go in. Here's a short pass to Granlin. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Minnesota's holding a noticeable edge in the shot department here in the first, and they lead as a result. Nice job tying up his opponent. Tries to feed it over to Niederreiter. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Taken by Pareko. Looking to make something happen at center. Sends it in front. Tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it top ends. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Pushes it across to Stahl. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Coleman. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. A little crash and a bang and forces the turnover. Scooped up along the wall by Cullen. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Puck picked up by Pareko. St. Louis is on the attack. Quick feed to Pareja. Scores! There it is! His first of the season, and look at the smile there! 
Well, this is just a fabulous shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be closed upon quickly, so you've got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. St. Louis has come to life after shaking off that sluggish start. Well, this certainly isn't a defensive juggernaut with all the goals being scored, but they found a way to get on the board, and this is critical as they get themselves to close the gap. Minnesota's got the puck on the wall and sends it just out of reach. Blocked away by Hart. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Pominville. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blues have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Moves it to Spurgeon. And they continue to apply pressure here. Oh, huge hit against the wall. And you know about that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically. Pay the price. Use your body and get the puck. And that pass is redirected. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Puck scooped up by Buchnevich. The Wilds have taken possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by McDonough. And he takes the pass. Makes his presence known on the ice. Gives him a choke with that hit. Poked away in the neutral zone by McDonough. Tries to the crease. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. Oh, and it's another save on the play. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Oh, there's a hit. There's a collision. Scoops up the puck on the wall. Great save on the play. That's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes a stop. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can squeak one by. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Kane. Great hook check on the reach. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Feeds the puck to Granlin. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Quick pass across to Torpchenko. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Ah, uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Grandlin's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Oh, saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind them. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Dubnik's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Dubnik's got that post-to-post -post zone ability, which means he's great at reading those cross-crease chances and shutting them down. It's what makes him such an effective goaltender, guys. Granlin's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Good stand-up hit on the play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And that pass goes off a stick. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Centering key. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Oh, he caught him. Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way down your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Minnesota's been 
playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. And they take possession here in the offensive zone, and time to go on the attack. to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Hart's been outstanding in the first period, James, and really the only reason this game is close. This is exactly why you build. He scores! Oh, yeah, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Well, it's hard to miss from this distance, but you got to get there and you got to get the puck on your stick. He does a great job of getting in tight. Minnesota's now up by two here in the second. They've really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And their first two strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Turns it over. Pumps it away in his own end. Slides it over with pace to Spurgeon. Slick feed. And there's the save on the play. Silverberg's picking up steam. Here's a short pass. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Whoa! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Thomas carries the puck in his own zone. Buchnevich has got it against the boards. Jostles the puck loose. Grabbed along the board by Silverberg. And he slides it quickly to Koivu. He grabs the puck here at the point. A chance right in front, and that goes off a stick. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And that's blocked from someone in front. Taken along the wall by McDonough. Quick pass to Fult. And he takes the dish. Centering feed, and that goes off someone in front. And he makes the save. Dubnik's gonna elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking on all cylinders thus far. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Clean one, James, a great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Centering pass! It's scores! What an opportunity in the Rivers! Well, uh, once you get the puck into his hands, you know that he's going north, James, because he's got incredible lightning-fast speed, and he shows it on this last play and is able to deliver just a gift of a pass, and they execute for a goal. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long, and look at the scoreboard. It's the reason why they're ahead. And now he moves it quickly to Niederreiter. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Hart's gonna hang on for a whistle. 50 seconds. Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. St. Louis has the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Ayafalo. Quick shot! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Dubnik's had a quiet night, Jake. Oh, get out of the play! A true competitor save just when you think that he's completely out of it, James. He comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And some textbook body contact there. Dubnik's off to 
trying to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Minnesota's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. And a solid job tying up his opponent. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he's knocked off the puck there. Picked up along the wall by Pareko. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Lacks it into the offensive zone. Up along the wing. Handles the puck at the point. Makes the save with the glove. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's a 4-1 game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. after that hit. Spurgeon's got control of it now behind the cage. Shen's got it in the defensive end. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And they win the draw here in their own end. Minnesota's in transition. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. Sends it into the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Thomas. Slides the puck to Bushnevich. Sends a pass over. What a save by Dubnik. Sends the pass in front. Takes the pass. Quick feed to Bushnevich. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. He got all of that one. No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I well, didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it resolved in dropping the mitts. And that was just another reminder that these two teams just simply hate each other, Cheryl. Yeah, they don't like one another, James. And it's all about finding out who has the upper hand. And that's the reason why they just went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Woo! They've got the debris all cleared up off the ice, and both teams step in for the face-off. Off and he wins the draw. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Ayafalo is going to play it against the half wall. Not trying to take your job, James, but I have to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. Penalty coming up here. I have to look at the personnel to see who gets the advantage here because it's coincidental, but it's who the team loses that really matters. On the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four on, four on the ice. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. St. Louis has it near the wall. The Blues weren't ready to play right from puck drop. Now they find themselves halfway through. A little bit more aggressive as the game unfolds here. They're down by a bunch of goals, and this could have been the opportunity they needed just to claw their way back in a little bit, but it goes off the pipe. 
Minnesota's looking to carry this sizable lead here into the second intermission. They have been the dominant club tonight. Champions won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Scores! Oh, what a finish! Too sweet! Well, the reaction on the bench, it says it all, James. I, I mean, this is their fearless leader. He provides a ton of energy to this group. The timeliness of the goal, the energy that he brings, and encapsulates what he means to this team. Well, timing is everything, and this guy knows that he needs to be an emotional barometer for this team, and that goal sends a troll right through the entire bench. You can see them all up on their feet. They've got some newfound energy now. Minnesota's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm, and they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. Moves it quickly over to control. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Minnesota's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And he keeps possession. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. Feeds the puck to Kobe. With possession along the wall. Oh, and he denies him on the one-timer. Wow! Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. Textbook stopped by Bennington. has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. Kluger's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Big save just as time runs out. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Champion. Puck grabbed by Fulk. The Blues will play it in their own end. Slides it diagonally to Bushnevich. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. 
this play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. Minnesota's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. And now it's grabbed by Schmidt. Quick pass to Couture. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Quick feed to Kane. Look out, here they come on the attack. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. St. Louis is down by three. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Phillips. Cuts to the front. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. Oh, hit on the play. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. From a tight angle, throws it on net. And a quick save on that one. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Across the line. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Dumps it in. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass over to Champion. Minnesota's number one line has been dominant tonight, James. They've been in the offensive zone. They created a ton of opportunities, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Minnesota's looking to break out. Here's a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Rocks them. Powerful. Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Uh, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. I think this is what the fans wanted. I think this is what everybody expected and the rivals living up to it all. Well, it's taking every detail and making it work for you. And when you're rivals, you know that you've got to have an edge somewhere. And that's why these tempers flare. And it's also why the battle ensues. Resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. That goes wide. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Crabs it with the glove. Minnesota's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. Good heads up play to sneak in there on the tie-up and come up with the puck. Gostas Bears got the puck in his own zone. Here they come on the attack. Takes a bump, but hangs on to the puck. Great stop by Bennington. Moves it to Schmidt. Minnesota's got possession at center. Looking for space along the blue line. Oh, and he completely muffs the shot. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Here he is in close. Scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love his game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the floor check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his effort. Continue this on. 
onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Taken by Scandella. Go hit to pump him off the puck. Battle along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Centering feed! And that goes off a stick and off target. Now a quick pass to Coleman. St. Louis is in the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Boom! <laughs> wow, what a thunderous hit there! in the third. Stalls won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Schmitz taking it from his own end. Slides it on over to Patrol. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Off the club and makes the save. Pollenville's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes a shot. Big hit. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Centering feed! He shuts down a great scoring chance there. Drills him. St. Louis looks to go on the attack. Moves the puck over to Thomas. Champion stick handling in his own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Oh, he absolutely crushed him in the corner. And he slides it quickly to Suter. Pumped off the puck. Directs it on over to Thomas. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. With such a comfortable lead, James, I don't really think this penalty is going to make a difference. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work first power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Gets it out of his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Shen. Rocked him in the open ice. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And the extended stick ends that one. Tries to feed it over to Suter. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Tries to get it over to Spurgeon. Quick pass to Couture. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Sends the pass over. The Wild have possession shorthanded. They clear the zone. Passes over to Kairou. The Blues gain possession. Oh, he 
just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Quick feed to Kairou. Fires it on net. Oh, how do you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those great A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more time on his side, and it just ricochets off his toe. The Blues will have one last chance to move the puck up here on this power play. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Trying to get it down the ice. And they get the puck out of the zone, and they'll head off for a line change. Oh, this is a smart play. They've been in their own zone. They get it out. Now they've got some energy jumping on the ice, looking to retrieve. Fires it! Goaltender. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Minnesota's manufactured plenty of offense tonight, and they lead here late in this third period. Champion standing up, ready to go. Pinned up along the boards. Minnesota's killed the penalty. Well, the only good thing about that power play unit was they got in zone and got set up, but you can have all the possession time in the world, but if it doesn't generate opportunity, it means nothing. And the puck departs the zone. Can't maintain possession. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Kind of felt like they had the puck in the here. Well, the analytics, I tell you, they did. They certainly held the number in possession time. Real effective at that. Sometimes it's what you do with it, though. But they proved to do the right things. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. Thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us tonight. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sebelski. See ya.